What's up and welcome to another My Clever House video. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your LifeX bulbs to Amazon's Alexa. We'll start off with a really basic command. Alexa, discover devices. I couldn't find any new smart home devices. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your device from the Alexa app. So she says we need to enable the smart home skill in the Alexa app first. So we'll go ahead and do that now. To enable a smart home skill in the Alexa app is very easy and straightforward. Just click this menu button at the top of the home screen. And then down here, select skills. This will bring you to the skills shop, skills store, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're just going to type in L-I-F-X for LifeX. All right, and we're going to select that one at the top and enable this skill. It's gonna want you to sign in with your LifeX email and password, and you should have set this up whenever you first registered your LifeX bulbs on your LifeX app. Once you've signed in and hit continue, it'll bring you to this page to authorize the application. Very simple, just click authorize there. Then you'll get this message saying that it has been successfully linked. Try saying, Alexa, Tell LifeX to turn my bedroom lights off. Turn bedroom lights off. So we can use this command to tell Alexa, tell LifeX to turn my bedroom lights green. Changed color on bedroom lights to green. Okay, let's talk a little bit about some things I don't like. Alexa will respond to my command regardless of what room I choose. I don't have to really be specific about which bulb I need it to change. It will just change the bulb no matter where I say. Alexa, tell LifeX to turn my kitchen lights green. Changed color on kitchen lights to green. I never set any of my LifeX bulbs to be the kitchen lights. So you can see that Alexa doesn't really discriminate, it's just going to change some lights green. So that's kind of a problem for me. What we'd like to do is get a little more control over which bulbs that we're messing with and making sure that we're only adjusting things that we want to adjust. So how do we do that? Well I had to find this out the hard way, but you actually have to download a different skill. So what we're going to do again is search for LifeX. And you'll notice underneath the LifeX skill, there's a second LifeX skill called LifeX Optimized for Smart Home. Which you'd think the original one would be optimized for Smart Home because Alexa is all about, you know what, don't even worry about it. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're just going to enable the second skill here. Enable. Account linking in progress. It's going to ask you to enter your username and password again. And after you do that, you just hit authorize to get the second skill set up. To continue, close this window to discover devices you can control with Alexa. That's the kind of message that we wanted to see earlier so that we could have more control over each individual bulb. So let's do that, let's close this window. It's now prompting us to discover devices. If you can't read, it says smart home devices must be discovered before they can be used with Alexa. So we're gonna click discover devices. All right, it says Alexa found my LifeX bulb, and the LifeX bulb is named 25DFD1, which was a standard name whenever I set it up. I didn't want to mess with it. I knew I'd only have one bulb, and I'd just click it on and off, and I didn't care what the name of it was, but now it kind of does matter because I want to be able to tell Alexa to control it. If you're wondering how to find this screen in your Alexa app, it's really easy. You just click the menu, Smart Home right there, and you can control your devices, your groups, and your scenes. So if you're faced with a similar situation to what I'm experiencing now, the first thing you're going to want to do is edit this light bulb. Just tap this right here, and you can kind of see the light is on, brightness is set to 100, and then there's a color option down here. But we're not really worried about that right now. What we want to do is we're going to change the name. So up the top, it says edit, and here it says edit name. And I want to change it to something unique to prove that I am controlling the correct light bulb. So we'll change it to... Rover. I don't know if anything, any light bulb has ever been called Rover, so there's no doubt about it. I am controlling this exact bulb. It's not a mix up between rooms or something else. We're now going to run the test. Alexa, turn Rover to white. Okay. There. So this is what we were missing at the original try was being able to change a specific bulb named what we wanted to call it to a specific color. Alexa, Dim Rover to 
Okay. But now I actually have full control over my bulb and I know I can name it whatever I want so I can control exactly what I want to do. Another thing that's really important is now that it's been found in my Alexa app, I can set groups within my Alexa app. So I'll click add group here and now I can create a group based on a common name, we'll just call it bedroom and we'll hit next. And now I can choose what I want to add to this room. So I'll click Rover, save. And now I can control the bedroom lights like this. I can say, Alexa, turn the bedroom lights off. Okay. So there, now that it's in the app, it's a lot easier to control and I'll have a lot more control over what it is I'm actually changing. And that's gonna wrap it up for how to connect your LifeX bulbs to Alexa. You now have an idea of how those two different skills work in the Alexa store and why you need one more than the other. The first one will allow you to tell Alexa to tell LifeX to change the color of the bulb and it doesn't really seem to do a good job of picking the correct bulbs because you can't edit the bulbs anywhere. Um, they're not necessarily synced up with your app on your LifeX app or anything like that. There's a whole plethora of problems with that. But the second one is called LifeX Optimized for Smart Home will actually allow you to discover the device with your Alexa app. And once you can discover a device with your Alexa app, then you have full range of control over it and it'll be in the like Alexa world of commands because then you can say Alexa, do this, do that. But until you get it in the Alexa app like we have it here, it's a lot harder to manipulate or have very specific controls. Once you get here, you're all set. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you have something else you'd like me to share uh, or something you'd like me to walk you through on one of these videos, just leave me a comment for that too. Please do remember to like, share, and subscribe this video if you found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.